Hello everyone. Today we are going to be unboxing the Spriggan edition of Kuro no Kiseki. Let's begin. Okay, so this particular edition of Kuro no Kiseki is, I believe, Jap Japan only. Um, unfortunately, this particular game series, the, uh, I mean, yeah, this part of the Legend of Heroes series is not yet um, translated. So it's Japan only. Hopefully it does get... Um, Hopefully it's uh, translated pretty soon because, good lord, this game, from what I'm seeing online on the previews, looks legit. It's essentially Kamen Rider, but with like kind of medieval twists, but yeah. Oh, I, all right. Anyway, uh, okay, so I hate standalone. <laughs> okay, I gotta be honest. I hate standalone sleeves like this because this implies that this thing is a throwaway. So. I don't know. It's it's odd, but I wish it's an actual sleeve. Um, all right, this box art is pretty cool. That's pretty dope. All right, let's see what's inside. Oh, that's dope. So, okay, hold on. The packaging is awesome. Nothing, to say, nothing bad to say about the packaging on this. This is dope. Like there's a design here. Okay, so what do we get? So we get an OST mini soundtrack. That's pretty cool. It's not on the standard, like, uh, soundtrack, you know, the glass case or plastic uh, jewel case. So that's good. I like these just because it's not like with the jewel. The problem with the jewel case is the mechanism that holds the disc inside usually like breaks and cracks really easily. So this is a pretty good improvement. Just using the and of course uses less materials and just uses existing materials. So you're just using like a Blu-ray um, Blu-ray case for this. All right, let's move on. Then we get an art book, or, or sorry, no, sorry, this is the data file. So you get your costumes here, your artwork, your costumes. That's pretty cool. Your main character, Van, Agnes. I can't see her name. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So it's a data file. Okay, next up, I believe. Okay, yeah, this one is the art book. So it's also a soft cover art book. Um, yeah, it's not too bad. The base, it's a, it's pretty basic if you ask me, just because like it's soft cover. Like you get the key, some key arts over here. I wish the book was a little bit bigger or well made because yeah, I, I have a thing against like um, soft cover art books. But again, it's fine for what it is. It's again, that's its basics. Um, but yeah, it, together paired with the data file, that's pretty good. And finally, you get the game. Kuronokiseki. Take note, this is part one. Um, I have to check how much the pricing is for this. So, let's see. 
Okay, so this is around, with shipping, it's $120. So it's a bit pricey. It's actually pretty pricey. It's not a bit pricey. It's actually pretty pricey. Um, for what it is, yeah, I mean, if you're a big fan, the soundtrack is pretty good. Um, it's a mini soundtrack. It's not even a whole soundtrack. Um, the data file is pretty good. I wish I could read it. Uh, and then you get your your actual art book. Um, again, for the price, I would say it's pretty basic. It's not that great. Um, there are a lot of better art books or better collector's edition for the value. Um, again, if you can get it at a lower price, that will be fantastic. But for its current price, it's hard to recommend even to Kiseki Files or to, to Legend of Hero fans. Like, yeah, the, it's a hard recommend. Otherwise, the materials, it's fine if a bit basic. Um, but yeah, uh, for, if you have any questions about this collector's edition, just leave that in the comments below. And for more unboxing, subscribe to our channel. For now, see ya.